welcome to the channel today we're going to be looking at how to paint some parking spaces so like i said we're going to be looking at painting some parking spaces today i've done a few already as you can probably see in the background we're going to go over this one behind us and we've got a few more to do so i thought i'm going to show you how i do this one um, it doesn't have to be parking space it can be road markings and what i'm using is some heavy duty road line paint so the first thing we want to do is give the area we're painting a good sweep i've already done that we just want to get rid of as much dust as possible we're not going to get rid of it all but we've done the best we can do so now we want to mark out the area i'm going to use masking tape if you've got duct tape you can use that but it will cost you a little bit more as obviously masking tape is cheaper to buy so we'll do that now and then we're ready for painting quick little tip if you stick the very end down first where you want to start make sure it's pretty secure and then stretch the tape all the way to the very end and it'll give you a nice straight line because if you're doing a little bit at a time without realizing you're going to start curving around i'll try and show you what i mean so we'll stick the first bit down So you want a good 30, 40 centimetres stuck down. And then what we're going to do is carefully extend the tape all the way to the end of the line. As you can see now, I'm just walking along it to push the tape down onto the floor. You can do this, or you can go along and push it down by hand. You'll probably get it down a bit better if you do it by hand, to be honest. This you can really get it into all the little grooves. So ideally, you want it pushed down as well as possible, just to try and stop that paint from leaking underneath. So now we've done that, we're ready to start painting. So before you dip in your brush, give your paint a good stir. Things like this, like I said, this is just a heavy duty road line paint. Um, when I opened it, it was black. So give it a really, really good stir. I'm just using an old bit of branch that I found on the floor because it does have some sort of rubber in it as well, which I think that's why it dries nice and hard. I've already stirred this not too long ago. So mine's not too bad, but make sure you mix it thoroughly. And then little tip, what I do, I get an old, well not old, but a little disposal plastic cup or an old bowl if you've got one. Dip that in. Keeping it in the lines and I just run myself a little line down to start with. And you get your brush. And you just start to work that in. Um, I'm going from the edge of the masking tape to the middle instead of running it to the edge because all that's going to do is push it underneath. As you can see here we go kind of grab it from the middle and we just come from the masking tape to the middle and then we go the other side. If you've got any little holes you want to just dab your brush into them and give it another brush over and you want to carry that process on until you finished your line off So 
So if you're going to do the pouring method, like I have, just one little tip, don't pour too much um, and do it in little sections. So don't do a line right from the top all the way to the bottom because the paint will naturally spread out, especially if you put too much and it'll work its way under the tape. That has happened in a couple of sections. Um, so we'll notice that probably when we pull the tape up. But we've just done this last little end now. So we'll take off the tape and we'll see how it looks. Before you pull the tape off, I'd advise you to pop on some disposable gloves because you don't want this stuff on your hands. Um, also, I'm using a brush that I can chuck away. If you've got a spare one, I'd advise you do the same. They don't always clean up too well after this sort of paint. Okay, so we're going to take the line off and we'll see how it looks. So as you could see, unfortunately, some of the paint had slipped under the tape um, from a distance so you can't really tell and it still looks better than the line that we haven't gone over yet. Obviously it's an old line, so it's not a brand new one, but you could tell the difference there. These are the ones we've done, um, we're on to the last one now, so I'll do that off camera. I've had to rush it a little bit though because it's started to rain, unfortunately. I did check the weather and it wasn't forecast, but there we go. So try and pick a nice day to do this because you don't want it getting wet. Hope this has helped. Any questions, guys, feel free to pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. See you next time.